With this first extension, you'll never be scammed again. It's called the Camelizer and it shows you the price history of any product on Amazon. So now, every time you think you're getting a good deal, you can actually confirm it. And you'll be surprised how often these bargains are really just the regular price in disguise. And the best part is that you can set email alerts so that you get notified if an item drops below a certain price. I've done this hundreds of times for stuff I want but don't need right away. And this is how I get a ton of stuff like camera gear at rock bottom prices. And the funny thing is that a lot of times when the price does drop and I get the alert, I realize that I don't even want it anymore. And speaking of scams, you know when you end up on the website and you think to yourself, is this legit? Generally speaking, a good indicator is if it gets tons of traffic. And you can actually check that by using similar web, which shows you a ton of information about the website you're on, like how many people show up each month, where they're from, and a whole bunch of other things. This has saved me more than once, and I highly recommend it. And while we're on the topic of websites, you know when you have to go back to a page from a few days or even weeks ago, and you have to use the godforsaken default history tab? Well, there's an extension called Better History that makes this process so much better that it's hard to believe that it's not built in. You can search by keyword, exact time, and there's even a dedicated search engine where you can be ultra specific with what you're trying to find. And as if all of this wasn't enough, you can even blacklist domains so that certain websites don't get recorded to your history. And by the way, if you don't recognize the browser I'm using, it's called Arc and it's probably the best browser on the market. And I made a full video about it that you can find right here as well as in the description below. Alright, so YouTube is my main source of procrastination, but I also use it to find answers to problems I have at work like tutorials or quick fixes. So I can't just use those productivity extensions that block websites completely. And that's where Unhook comes in and what makes it different is that it doesn't just shut down YouTube, it just hides the distracting parts. For me, I have it set up so I don't see the home feed, the sidebar, or shorts. So now when I open up YouTube, it's basically a blank screen with a search bar on top. And once I find the video I'm looking for, I'm no longer tempted by the sidebar recommendations. And there's another extension that takes this approach to more than just YouTube. It's called Undistracted and it lets you do the same for sites like X, Facebook, and others. I use it mostly on X so I can go there to reply to DMs without getting sucked into the feed. And by the way, you know when you open a video and it defaults to 720 or even 480p and you have to manually change it to a higher resolution? Well, there's a very simple and lightweight extension called Auto 4K that automatically sets every video to your preferred resolution. Very nice. And YouTube has a feature that lets you control the playback speed. But there's actually three problems with it. The first is that some videos are just so slow that I like to crank it up to 2.5 or even 3x. The second is that the keyboard shortcuts for this are shift plus dot and shift plus comma, which is just a pain to use. And on top of that, they only let you go up and down in 0.25x increments. But there's one extension that solves all three of these problems. It's called Video Speed Controller and it lets you set it up just how you like it. For me, I have it so that I can increase the speed with S and decrease with D. And I have it go up and down in 0.1x increments. And by the way, this works on every video on every website, not just YouTube. And like most people, I like to use dark mode at night and although this comes built into most browsers, it still doesn't work on every website and you can't really customize much about it. And that's where Dark Reader comes in, which is one of the most downloaded extensions of all time and for good reason. Not only does it work everywhere, but it also lets you customize the crap out of it. Personally, all I change is that I only want it to turn on after 9pm. And I stop it from working on sites like YouTube or X, which have their own dark mode, and a few others where it just doesn't look right. Alright, so you know when you find a bug in an app or service? and want to report it? This is normally a tedious process of endless back and forths for both the user and the developer. And this is where the sponsor of today's video Jam comes in because they've created a free browser extension that automates this whole process. Here's how it works. Every time you encounter a bug, just press instant replay and Jam will then create a screen recording with all the relevant information attached to it, like console logs, network requests, and everything a developer could need to trouble 
troubleshoot your problem. It even uses AI to generate the repro steps and it even generates a relevant title. And once it's done, you get a link that you can share anywhere. And because Jam integrates with tools like Slack and GitHub, you can create bug tickets without ever switching tabs. This is an awesome extension that's just as good for the user as it is for the developer. Check it out for free at jam.dev. All right, so you know when you're on websites like Pinterest where you have a bunch of small pictures and to see each one, you have to click on it, then go back and click on another one? Well, that's where this extension that I have no idea how to pronounce comes in. And when you have it installed, every time you hover over an image, it's gonna expand it so you can see it better. But the thing is, I don't want this extension to be on all the time. But luckily, we can enable a modifier key so that it only works when you press it, which for me is the control key. And speaking of images, you know how sometimes when you download an image off the web, it comes with a WebM file format that you then have to convert to PNG? Well, there's an extension called Save to PNG that skips that extra step. Just right click any image and download it directly as a PNG file. All right, so now let's go over three extensions that are kind of non-negotiable. And the first is an ad blocker. And my choice here is uBlock Origin. It's open source, it's lightweight, has a fantastic community behind it, and it does a lot more than just block ads. For starters, it can also block those annoying cookie pop-ups. You just need to go to the extension options, filter lists, and enable cookie notices. Plus, it lets you get rid of certain elements in a page. For instance, let's say that you never want to see the what's happening section on X. You can just go into uBlock Origin, press this button here, and then select the section that you want to get rid of. And you'll never see it again, even if you refresh the page. And if you want to revert back, just go to Options and under Filters, remove the one you just created. Honestly, if I could only keep one extension in this entire list, this would be it. Another essential is a spell checker. Grammarly is the most popular one, but I use language tool because I also type in other languages and Grammarly only supports English. And the last essential is a password manager. And I don't know how there's still so many people that don't use one. I've been using one password for around a decade now and I have zero complaints. Okay, so before going over some honorable mentions, I have to go over one of my favorite extensions on this list, which is Rakuten. And the way I think of Rakuten is that it's basically an honorable Honest honey. It doesn't work off of coupon codes and it only works in stores that participate in their referral network. It does work differently though, so instead of giving you a discount when you buy something, it rewards you in the form of cash back after you complete your purchase. So when you have it installed and you go on a website that partners with Rakuten, you'll see a pop-up. And if you click on it to activate it, you'll receive a certain cash back percentage if you do complete a purchase. And normally it's just 2 or 3% cash back, but other times it's huge. And the best part is that it works with big purchases like hotel stays on places like Booking.com or Expedia, which really adds up. And if we use similar web from earlier in the video, you can see just how popular Rakuten is and for good reason. Highly recommend it. Okay, so I have a couple honorable mentions for extensions that I don't actually use, but I think a lot of people will love. The first is Screenshot YouTube, which adds a screenshot button to every YouTube video. This is nice because it takes a frame straight from the video stream, so you won't have any UI elements on the top like playback controls or captions. Not to mention, you won't have to align the crosshairs of your screenshot tool, so it'll always come out perfect. All right, so if you have multiple Google accounts that you use for different Google services, then you need this extension. It's called default account for Google products and it lets you assign a specific account to each Google service. So if you always use a certain account for your Google Drive, you can use this extension to assign that one account to be the default one for Drive. And you can choose different accounts for basically all Google products. So if you have a work meeting, you don't have to waste time signing into your work account. You can just set your work email to always be the default one for Google Meet. And speaking of meetings, if you never want to miss a meeting again, you can use the app Meeting Bar, which alerts you with a full screen reminder whenever you have a meeting coming up that you can then join with just one click. And this is just one of the 13 Mac apps that I use every single day. And if you want to see all of them, I made a full video about it that you can find right here. So I'll see you there.